Hello again everyone and welcome to another edition of Silver Bullion Television SBTV. I'm your host Patrick Vieira. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at this week's or recent market news regarding electric vehicle metals, cobalt and nickel. Now despite the recent downturn in price with cobalt and nickel, both metals are absolutely going to play a role in our lives in the shortcoming years ahead. So much so that there is a grave worry that demand will outpace supply. We interviewed John Peterson, and this is what he had to say about the supply of nickel. As I understand the numbers, you know, global nickel mm -hmm. uh, is about two quarter million tons a year, and two thirds of that is nickel pig iron, and one third of it is metal that could be used in batteries. But but cer certainly there is a a premium for nickel that can be used in batteries. Now John also went on to speak about the cobalt cliff. Cobalt cliff being a term meaning that in his opinion and quite a few others as well, that there just will not be enough cobalt to meet future demands. Nor is there anything else on the near horizon to challenge the nickel manganese cobalt battery. Volkswagen, they're projecting to have a million electric vehicles by 2025. Uh, and that's just Volkswagen. Will cobalt supply be able to, to hold up to meet this demand? I don't believe so. Uh, the, uh, I do not believe that terrestrial mining of cobalt is going to be sufficient for the anticipated growth of EVs. Is there anything else uh, foreseeably on, on the, the near horizon that could take the place of a <laughs> nickel cobalt manganese mixture? Not that I can see. You know, people have been talking about uh, lithium sulfur and lithium air batteries for a very long time. Uh, the challenges of getting to a stable commercial product are, are, very, are very daunting. And I, I think we have reached a point where lithium, lithium ion battery prices are not going down anymore. I think, that, I think they're going to turn and go the other direction. Lastly, in our interview with John Peterson, we spoke about who controls most of the world's cobalt. Now, despite the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, supplying most of the world's cobalt, over half, it's not the DRC. The world's cobalt supply right now is 50% industrial applications, 50% batteries, and that's just close enough for close enough for the spitball. Uh, if you look at where the cobalt is refined, it's not quite 50/50 because China is more than 50%, but it's basically 50% of the world's cobalt is refined in China. Mm -hmm and 50% of the world's cobalt is refined in not China. <laughs> so, 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 so you have China is in control of 50% of the world's cobalt. Yes. Everybody else is in, is in control of 50%. Now, if you look at how the cobalt produced in China is used, about 20% of the Chinese cobalt, call it 10,000 tons, is used for industrial applications, and the other 40, or the other 80 percent of Chinese cobalt, call it 80,000 or 40,000 tons, mm -hmm. is used in batteries. That means when you get to the non-China cobalt, uh, China has produced 10,000 tons of cobalt for industrial applications, there is 40,000 tons of cobalt that has to be used, or 50,000 tons that has to be used globally mm -hmm. for industrial applications. So in the cobalt not refined in China, 40,000 tons of that has to go to industrial applications. Yes, yes. And only, and only 10,000 tons of not China cobalt is available to the battery industry. So, according to John Peterson, when it comes to cobalt, there's China and there's the rest of us. And big business knows this. 
Volkswagen is thinking to buy cobalt years into the future and has spent some 40 plus billion dollars upgrading facilities for electric vehicles and procuring cobalt supplies. Another is Apple. Apple knows the electric vehicle push is going to sweep every major country and is actively seeking cobalt years into the future for their iPhone and laptop batteries as this Bloomberg video documents. Apple is moving to secure its supply chain. The company is in talks with cobalt mines to buy the metal directly from them with no middlemen. Apple is worried that demand for cobalt in electric vehicle batteries could threaten its own supply, which it needs for its iPhones and iPads. Jack, this is all according to people familiar. So great reporting on your part. Is this unprecedented for Apple? For Apple, yes. Apple, uh, as far as we've been told by our sources, uh, has never gone and bought cobalt directly from miners before. It's never really had to because the cobalt market has been this quite quiet backwater, pretty tiny market in the global commodities uh, world. Uh, Apple, one of the big end users for iPads and, and iPhones and so forth, but there's never been a question whether they would be able to have enough supply. Mm. And so this is to sort of secure the, apply, the, the supply chain. How likely are they to be able to actually do it? Uh, I mean, if they're willing to pay up, yeah. then certainly there are plenty of mining companies. Well, not so many mining companies, but there are mining companies, including the likes of Glencore, Eurasian Resources Group, who have plenty of cobalt supply, um, are planning increases in supply, uh, and no doubt at the right price, a, a deal could certainly be done. With China's stockpile of refined cobalt and appetite for cobalt and nickel, with their electric vehicle ambitions, indeed, there's China and there's the rest of us. Staying with China, more news about lower cobalt prices and the investment opportunities it brings. Cobalt stocks in China are poised for a new jolt as EV boom powers on. Bloomberg News, June 19, 2018. A slump in cobalt prices and the shares of Chinese refiners may provide an ideal bargain hunting opportunity for investors seeking a piece of the action as Asia's top economy leads a global boom in electric vehicles. Cobalt sulfate, a chemical used in batteries, has dropped more than 20% since April, while the form of the metal used in high-tech alloys, such as jet engines, is down 15% after prices hit the highest level since 2008. Supply concerns are easing for now, but the longer-term picture remains positive as China scrambles to roll out electric vehicles to reduce roadside pollution. Knowing this, I'd have to say, indeed, it may be a good time to gain exposure to cobalt and especially nickel. Moving on to local news here in Singapore, Times Online reported 500 electric vehicle charging points to be rolled out by 2020. In a bid to encourage more people to own electric vehicles in Singapore, utility provider Singapore Power will be installing 500 new charging points across the island by 2020 with the first batch of 30 operational by the end of this year. The upcoming rollout will be the largest public EV charging network in Singapore, noted SP Group Chief Executive Officer Wong Kim Yin. Of the 500 charging points, more than 100 will be 50 kilowatt DC charging points, which is a fast charge technology that can fully charge an EV in less than 30 minutes. Existing chargers currently run at rates between 7.4 kilowatts and 8 kilowatts. Now, this is quite interesting because as noted in this article, most Singaporeans do live in government housing units. Cars are parked in parking garages and there's no real way for them to charge electric vehicles overnight. Thus, it doesn't make sense nor is it practical for Singaporeans to own electric vehicles. Although now with this push for quick charging units, electric vehicles may have just become more attractive and practical for people living in the island nation. The electric vehicle revolution, it's real, governments want it, it's growing, and cobalt and nickel are at the tip of the spear in the charge. Now, one thing to keep in mind when investing in cobalt and nickel, the battery manufacturers are looking to use more nickel, less cobalt. Keep that in mind. Now, staying in Asia from Japan today, business news, June 17, 2018, Sumitomo Metal says global nickel deficit to widen this year. Sumitomo Metal Mining, Japan's biggest nickel smelter, expects a global nickel market deficit to widen to 88,000 tons this year from 72,000 tons last year amid solid demand for stainless steel and batteries, an official said. Masanari Oyama says he expects higher demand for stainless steel and automotive batteries. Masanari Oyama is the general manager of Sumitomo Metal Mining, and he also says that an increase in nickel supply will come from China and Indonesia, 
And he's predicting a tightness in higher quality nickel to continue this year. As you know, the higher quality nickel or class one, those are the ones that are used for electric vehicle batteries. And the article also says that electric vehicle batteries are a new source of demand for nickel. Sumitomo Metal Mining, which also makes materials for electronic parts, supplies cathode materials for Panasonic Corp's lithium-ion batteries that are used in Tesla's electric vehicles. Now, staying on nickel, we see that Vail is investing $1.7 billion in nickel mine amid battery boom. This was from June 11, 2018. The world's biggest nickel producer is betting Canadian $2.2 billion that the metal has a bright future amid surging demand for battery commodities. Now earlier, the future of Bell's nickel operations appeared uncertain when Chief Executive Officer Fabio Schwarzman took over and ordered a review. But as the demand outlook for metals such as nickel and cobalt brightened along with the nascent electric car boom, the Rio de Janeiro-based miner took a wait-and-see approach Today's announcement is a clear sign Bell is positive on nickel again. Schwarzman has been looking at financing alternatives for the project at Boise's Bay, which also produces cobalt, a so-called streaming arrangement in which an investor provides upfront funding to miners in exchange for a share of their future output was an option. So as we see, these mining companies are moving ahead and they feel confidently in doing so now that they know that the EV boom is real. They have companies that, that they see, such as BMW and Apple, that are buying cobalt years into the future. They know that this is something they can go after, and there will be a demand for whatever supply that they can put out on the table. And from the Wall Street Journal, electric vehicle frenzy sweeps up once unloved metal nickel. Once cast aside by investors, nickel has been one of the year's best performing assets. The speculative fever for electric car metals is pushing to nearly four-year highs prices for nickel, a key ingredient in stainless steel. Nickel is a top industrial metal and among the best performing assets of 2018, with futures contracts on the London Metal Exchange up 21% as battery manufacturers, mostly in China and investors across the world, hoard the metal in anticipation of a shortage. In taking a quick look, a comparison between nickel, aluminum, lead, and zinc, we can already see that nickel is starting to move ahead. And that again is because of the anticipated electric vehicle revolution. For years, nickel was one of the worst performing commodities as supply far outpaced demand from industries like auto manufacturing and construction. Its dramatic rally this year is the latest sign of hype surrounding emerging technologies like car batteries. Now, currently batteries only account for a tiny slice of the total nickel demand, about 3% according to analysts, but some in the metals industry expect that figure to ramp up as more consumers switch to electric cars. Analysts at Citigroup estimate battery usage could hit as much as 40% in the next 15 years. Robin Barr from Society General says these sort of longer-term generational changes don't happen that often. And when they do, investors and speculators want to anticipate. If battery usage increases as it could, you're not going to have enough supply. Now, batteries do account for just a small fraction of nickel demand, but analysts say they have been driving prices. Helping fuel nickel's latest leg up, more companies have come to favor batteries that use more nickel than cobalt. As prices for the latter have spiked amid struggles extracting it from Congo, the world's largest supplier. China, the country at the center of the rechargeable battery supply chain, has also gotten behind nickel-heavy batteries since they can give cars a greater driving range while taking up less space. Battery-grade nickel compounds also require a higher quality material than the metal used to produce stainless steel. That's causing some analysts to predict prices need to move higher to incentivize larger producers. Society General's Mr. Barr thinks prices will need to increase another 17% to $18,000 to boost supply. This article goes on to say that if EV adoption is anywhere close to being in line with industry forecasts, investors positioned bullishly will benefit. And with that, we will wrap up this edition of Silver Bullion Television. Hope to see you again soon and take care everyone. Excited about the opportunities in the coming electric vehicle revolution and looking to invest in this electrification super cycle? Demand for battery metals like nickel and cobalt is expected to rise in tandem with the increase in demand for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. 
You can now buy nickel and cobalt parcels with silver bullion and have a direct price exposure to both battery metals. You have the option to buy 2-ton nickel parcels or 250-kilogram cobalt drums. Every parcel will be fully insured against loss and guaranteed to be genuine by silver bullion. Selling your parcels to lock in profits is as simple as logging into your silver bullion account, selecting the parcels, and clicking sell. Buy your nickel and cobalt parcels now at Silver Bullion's website, www.silverbullion.com.sg slash eb and participate in the electric vehicle revolution. Interested but have questions? Email us at sales at silverbullion.com.sg or give us a call at plus 65 3040 That was a look at some of the news concerning cobalt and nickel. If you're interested to buy cobalt and nickel, go to our website and click on EV Metals at silverbullion.com.sg. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the SBTV channel to be updated on new content.